Wow, take a look at that. We found an entirely new world. Looks like there should be plenty of power stars here. Go ahead, we're all counting on you, Captain. Hey everybody, it's Stone here and welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy 2. In the last episode, we took down the first of many Bowser levels, fortresses, whatever. Actually, I think it was Bowser Jr., right? Right? Was it? I'm gonna check. Yeah, Bowser Jr.'s Fireleaf Flotilla, we took care of that. And finished up World 1. I can't seem to press the right buttons in the Wii Remote. This time, we're gonna start on World 2. First off, going to the only place we can go to, the Puzzle Plank Galaxy. <laughs> I actually really like the uh, background scenery of, scenery of World 2 uh, when you're in the overworld and on this ship. It just looks so cool. It's all orange and uh, like shining in the background. It's really nice. I also really like this galaxy because it's just fun. Like, this is just one of those fun ass galaxies. There are just quite a few levels in these galaxy games that are just maybe not, maybe they don't make much sense, but it's Mario and, you know, they're just fun. And this is one of them, in my opinion. Uh, everything just looks really nice. What do you have to say? Here's a tip, you can press Z in mid-air to ground pound. I already know how to do that. <laughs> was already, I actually just did it before looking at that sign, but thanks for the tip, I guess. Let's see, do I wanna hit... I know I wanna hit that one, but I wanna see what's in these other ones first. More star bits, star bits. As covered in the last episode, Star Bits is going to be very, very necessary toward the end. Uh, when we start having to use the Toad Bank. And uh, collect, <laughs> eventually collect 9,999 Star Bits. Well, if it's your first time through. But since I've already played, I don't exactly have to do that. I do, however, have to collect enough Star Bits for the uh, Hungry Lumas. I went over all this last time, you already know this. But, uh, so I'm just walking around collecting whatever is in these. Curious as to what this may lead to. I'm sure it's an extra life. I like this little tune. Wow, that was close and really long, too. Uh, as suspected, three one ups. And, um,. <laughs> A nice little song from, I believe, Super Mario World. Don't crucify me if I'm wrong, because I know a lot of people are huge fans of that game. But I, for one, have never actually played it. I played, like, a few levels. Or maybe the first world. Yeah, I played, like, the first world of Super Mario World, and I didn't exactly like it as much. Like, I would take, let's say, the uh, the new Super Mario Brothers games over that game, <laughs> like, any day. That's just my opinion, though. I mean... Uh, as we see, there is a Hungry Luma. He's gonna need coins. Uh, I haven't been collecting all the coins I can, so... I'll come back and get him after we do the main star here. Which is probably related to this <laughs> launch star up here, because it's the only way we can go. Comet Metal's up there. We actually have to hurry before that saw saws off the Comet Metal, and I'm just getting hit, so it's not making it easy. Luckily, it doesn't start until you get close to it, so that's good. Uh, over here. You see, this is actually kind of cool. The level just reveals itself to you as you make your way through it. Uh, and some parts kind of fall away. It's not too bad, but uh, the hitboxes on these saws can be a little bit janky sometimes, so you got to watch out for that. Got the bugs back from the first Galaxy game. They're still just as easy to take care of. We could go ahead and get a six shroom or a life shroom or one up, but I don't need to. If we organize this to where it's kind of back in 
the right order. Be making a bug. A bug. How much starbits over there? Mario? Buddy. Come on, you gotta walk. Grab the... And so it summons the two angry bugs. What will we do? Ow! Sorry for being sarcastic. Oh god, I missed. Okay, this actually might be bad. Okay, there's one. There are no coins to collect. If I get hit, I'm done. Well, that was... I was worried for nothing. <laughs> that was not bad at all. I thought he might take like a few hits or something, but guess not. We were both sudden death mode. I get hit, I'm gone. He gets hit, he's gone. This is what I was talking about with the background scenery of World 2. It just looks so nice. Look at it, all the planets around the, the star. Got a comet metal. We can now advance! What do you have to say? Hey, looks like there's a few changes to the world map. Let's check it out. We just saw that. What else do you have to say? That toad came back with you, right? He sure loves delivering mail. Oh, yeah, there's mail toad in this game. Go ahead and humor him. Maybe he's got something for you. I forgot about mail toad. Hey! Hey, Mario! I decided to start delivering mail, and my first letter is for you. Mario, I am very far away right now, but I'm okay. I know you will come save me. P.S. I've attached something to this letter. I hope it will be useful. And just like in the first game, Peach will send Mario letters with one-ups attached. But since the life counter resets every time, you uh... What's he doing? <laughs> this is the Grand World map. With the power of the Grand Star, we can travel great distances across space and time. Now we can travel to another world whenever you're ready, Captain. Well, only uh, this one and this one. Can't go to this one yet. So as we see, there are now more than two worlds and uh, quite a ways to go. Go back into the Puzzle Plank Galaxy and grab this Hungry Luma real quick. They really like alliteration in these games, don't they? The puzzling picture block. Puzzle Plank Galaxy. Let's see, I want to grab as many coins as possible. I don't know... I don't remember which ones give you coins of these. I think they're all star bits up here, which I could use more of as well. I don't know how many coins the Hungry Lumen needs. It's probably like maybe 15 or 20. I hope it's not more than that, because... Jeez. You give me star bits, don't you? You give me star bits, don't you? I'm gonna get the star bits from you anyway, I don't care if I already know. That's the launch star to go to the Hungry Loom, huh? There are some coins. And I don't really want to do that again, so... I'm just gonna fly off from here. Hopefully there are enough coins on this planet to allow me to get it. What did this give me? Star bits. Probably the same here. I think these can be funny. Okay, coins. Nice. Look over here and grab these. Oh my gosh, the rotating controls. Oh, I thought that was a coin, but it's just... Oh, there's a pipe down there too. That'll probably give me quite a few. I'm gonna hop in this pipe real quick. I didn't see it last time, actually. Curious as to where it leads. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're definitely getting a lot of coins here. Jesus. Okay, I'm not doing very well. In terms of time and coins collected. Actually, I might get them all. The nunchuck controls are really bad right now for some reason. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I got the one up and I have 68 coins. That should definitely be enough. I'm assuming he wants like 50 or something. 70? 
How am I supposed to get 70 coins? Wait. Wow. You really do have to go to the absolute limit to get enough coins for this guy. That's awesome. Yep, feed him 70 coins, fatty. Jeez. Did not remember that being that much. Anyway, he's gonna transform and give us a new planet, which is very, very reminiscent of one from the first game, if you know what I'm talking about. I wonder if it's the same, I'd assume it's the same fight. Same boss, I mean. Yep. Bugaboom returns. He's as angry as ever. Oh, jeez. He's still pooping bombs. I don't quite know how that works, but... You know, congrats, dude, that you can poop bombs. You'd be a great force in the military, I assure you. Let's see, I'll just have to wait on him. I'm gonna actually grab this cloud. Oh, wait, what? Did I not get it in time? I, I didn't get it at all. The wait on him again. His movement's actually like. Kinda, you have to like time it really well because he's fast compared to being able to jump out when you're Cloud Mario and ground pound since Cloud Mario is like kind of floaty. Ooh, that's a lot of star bits. Thank you for that. He stays on his side a lot in this one. And I missed. I was close, but I missed. I'm gonna get right above where he's gonna pass under. He's on his side, so I couldn't do it there. Bah! I got him. I don't know what kind of noise that was. I was like, bah! I got stuck between, uh, I got stuck between, like, saying bang and saying bonk, I think. And it just turned out, bah! <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I'm not sleep deprived, but I'm definitely sleep confused. I've had a lot of screwy sleep schedules in the last few nights. Bugaboom's back. <laughs> like I said with the alliteration. Yeah, so like for two nights in a row, I got like four Let's see. I got four and then three hours of sleep over the course of two nights. And um I had to go like work concessions for a softball tournament for my sister's team. And when I got home at about 3 p.m. after sleeping for three hours the night before and then four the night before that, I got home at three and I was going to take a nap thinking I could sleep for maybe, you know, one or two hours and then, you know, get up um, and go to bed at a normal time. Like, feel okay for the rest of the day and then go to bed at a normal time. Like, maybe midnight or one. But, I didn't wake up for four hours. So I woke up at 7 p.m. And I was not tired for the longest time. But I just did not get tired. And, uh, stayed up until 7. And at that point, I was really debating whether or not I should just stay awake or, uh, make myself go to sleep. I did end up making myself go to sleep, though, thankfully, because I would have been very, very, like, just feeling awful today if I didn't. And, uh, no, Yoshi! <laughs> no, 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 don't fly off, please. Oh, it's a weird thing to run out. Yeah, I am glad I went to sleep. I woke up for, I woke up at, uh, 12.30. After going to bed at seven, so that's like that's five and a half hours of sleep, and uh, I, I mean that's not a lot at all. But since I slept like late or ish in the day yesterday, I feel fine right now. Just a little bit 
I don't know, cloudy, I guess. Wait, what did he say? I feel like that was a hint at something. Your skill has brought you very far. Quite a view, is it not? From here, it's clear how important every coin truly is. Every coin? Why are you talking about coins? Hey, Starbit. Hey, shinies! I like shiny things. Um, every coin. Where's the... Comet metal? Is he making a reference to that, maybe? I'm gonna stand up on the edge, but I don't want to fall off. Quit! Stop pushing me off! Thank you. I don't know why I was doing that. Hey, I can't get those over there. Every coin? You can't even see any coins. I don't see the comet metal either. It's probably over there somewhere. But, uh, yeah. I'm just gonna jump down here. It'd be cool if I could have landed in the launch star. I was trying to, kind of, but it didn't work. Ooh. This part's kind of fun. I like... This is one of those levels that's just really fun as well. I don't usually like using Yoshi. It's just, like, annoying, and his controls are kind of eh. But, uh... This is definitely fun, I think. Oh, jeez. Fly over here. More of these hot dash peppers, as they're called. I think they're just called dash peppers, I believe. Um, pretty cool mechanic. I like it. Oh, that's what he was referencing. Okay, well, we'll come back later for that. All these fat, hungry Lumas, man. Oh, there's the coin. I got it, but I might die. <laughs> oh, God, make it over as far as you can, please. Okay. I didn't know where the landing was. It kept going left on me. Make it over here. And we're just a few quick B button presses. And you might think that you can just jump up there. But believe me, I don't think you can. I've tried. I'm just gonna do it the old fashioned way. Oh. My goodness. Okay, I'm gonna try it like this, actually. Yeah. I guess after you jump off Yoshi, you can't spin jump, so... You can't do that, unfortunately. <clears throat> It'd be really cool. Really cool tech. Okay, that turn's actually really hard to make. And annoying. I don't really know what I'm doing wrong on that turn, but... I guess that was what. Made it that time. And got this star. Pretty star. Hot stepping dash pepper. Nine comet medals. The map's updated. We now can advance to plenty more galaxies. But... Oh, wait, what do you have to say? I have a letter for you. Invitation. Hey, remember me? I got a new game over in the Fluffy Bluff galaxy. Come on by and we'll do the whole introductions thing. I want to see what kind of game skills you got. The chimp. Oh, geez. It's starting. If you play the game like this, and if you get every single star as soon as it becomes available before advancing to the next galaxy, you will get a ton. Once you get to a certain point, you will start getting a ton of comets appearing all at once. And it's kind of crazy, but... <laughs> I don't know. I don't have a problem with doing it like this. I actually prefer doing it like this. It just seems more complete. It's probably just OCD speaking, but whatever. Um... This time our goal is to get as many coins as possible, so I'm going to actually do this. And uh, I will meet you guys over... Actually, wait. should probably show where the coins are. That might be just lazy editing speaking, but um, I feel like I should show where the coins are. So you can, like, get them all. And I'll be like, hey, where, how did you get this many coins? I only have this many. Because that's definitely a possibility. So right here, we're probably going to want to take the rightmost route. Oh, those are star bits, not coins. Whoops. These are coins, though. Make sure we get all of these. 
Can't land on this Goomba. Oh. Dang, I missed him. Fall all the way back down, and Yoshi doesn't even take any damage. Yeah, if there was fall damage in this game, it definitely wouldn't make sense. Come on, Yoshi, make it. Make it up. That's where the coins are. Just the two of them. <sighs> this can get a little bit challenging, this part right here. Or anything involving the dash pepper, I guess. Because it's just like really quick reacting. Okay, get all the coins. I'm gonna land on this Goomba. Yes, got that one too. Now I'm gonna see what's in that uh, question mark block over there. Or question mark coin, because I don't remember, honestly. More coins, and I got them all in one swoop. Nice. Are there more coins up there? Is the question. That's the. I'm gonna ch go check because I don't remember if there are coins up there, and we may need them. To go all the way up. And I'm not making it all the way up this time. Not even close. I like how Yoshi's tongue can reach behind him. He's like, nah. Ah! I overcompensate a little bit. Ah, come on. I'm gonna do it this time. I'm gonna do it this try. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I don't care. Told you. Okay, now just a one up. Okay, Yoshi, thank you. <laughs> it's enough. So I can grab these star bits while I'm up here. I think this is the only place you can get them from. I'm gonna land the star. Hey, it's so cool. Ooh, got a lot of star bits that time. And there are also plenty of coins on this little path right here that I don't want to miss because the path does not come back after it falls which is what it's doing after it starts shaking like that and there's a little teleported thing right here that I can take and get a good amount of coins in here I wish you could snatch the coins with Yoshi's tongue. That'd be really helpful. I don't know if we're gonna get them all. Didn't get the one-ups, but I don't really care about that. I just wanted the coins. Okay, let's go over here. One right there. Missed that one. Missed that one, got that one, and missed one out of those. This should be enough. Although I said that last time and it was not enough. Please don't be more than what I have. 30. Okay, well I have plenty. I have absolutely plenty. Transform! I wonder what this one is. I don't remember this secret star. I'm sure as soon as I see the planet, I will, though. Uh, nope. Actually, I still don't remember this one. <laughs> Maybe it's just that generic and that boring. Who knows? What is going on? What are these things? Froki? Froki. Is that you? This is, we're actually chasing Froki's. Why? <laughs> Why? What are these things? They're actually Froakies! And I'm eating them! Literally Froakies. Come on, one last one. Thank you. I think that- yeah, okay. I definitely did not remember this secret star, jeez. I think I would've remembered if I had to chase Froakies around all day. Anyway, got the secret star. Not too bad. Up to 16 stars now. And let's see. Well now, you found quite a few of those power stars, huh? We'll keep track of how many you got. 
the sign next to the helm right there. Also, show the whereabouts of other power stars if you're interested. Okay. Let's check this. I think, is it the same as the star list in the menu? Yeah, okay. It's just a shortcut to the star list uh, that you can access from the star menu. Um, we could go ahead and do this next new galaxy, but kind of running out of time, so I think I want to go back to the uh, fluffy bluff galaxy and accept the chimps invitation. As we see there's a new star there that we haven't got and uh, these levels don't take very long at all, the chimp levels. So, should be good to go. The chimp stomp challenge. Oh, yeah, okay, I remember these. You have to, dang. Basically just have to kill everything. <laughs> like really quickly too. I'm not on top of my nunchuck game today, so hopefully I can do this in like a, one try or two tries. Finally, he says. Say hey, I'm the greatest game player in the galaxy. They call me the chimp. Nice mustache. I got the high score of 10,000 on this game here. Pretty simple, just stomp the enemies, then grab coins. If you can match or top my score, I'll give you a power star and some respect. Maybe. So what? Are you, so you game or what? Put some respect on my name. Hey, put some respect on my name. So you got 120 seconds. And um, you should probably know that if you jump on multiple enemies at a time, instead of just stopping to grab the uh, coins in between every one, your score actually does get added up. It's like a combo type thing. But I guess 300 is the highest they can go. I thought I could go to 500, but maybe not. Um... It's not that hard. This one's not. There are harder ones later on. Um, let's see, I'm trying to go to where the most enemies are. Run back and grab these coins. It's really good that coins give you a score too. It'd be a lot harder if it didn't. Let's see, are there coins in these? Probably not. I'm not gonna mess with them. Uh, I wanna go up here, because I know there's a ton of enemies up here ton of these Octoroks. It's also kind of easy to get uh, shot by the Octo Goomba or whatever, Octoroks, while you're trying to jump on all of them. But uh, if you jump like pretty high in the air and spin, they're not going to hit you. If I could get a 300 combo going with these last few enemies, like I said, it's easy to get shot. Okay, I don't this box, please be coins. Hey! Okay, we got it in the bag. With plenty of time to spare, too, it looks like. Uh, can you even go over here? I don't think so. Wow, so if I hadn't got that combo, I wouldn't even be able to, uh, win the level. I'm just gonna chill up here, since there's nothing else I can do. We beat his score by 10. It doesn't matter by how much you beat it by. I think this is actually the least amount you can beat its score by, which is funny. Um, but yeah, we beat it. And he's gotta give us a star and put some respect on our name. Fantastic, that's 10,010 points. You might be an amazing rival to my own skill. Here's your power star. And he's just gonna clap it into existence. We'll have quite a few of those chimp challenges throughout the game, and uh, they're kind of fun. Not too bad. What does that give us? 17 stars now? I think. Yep. Galaxy complete. And, yeah. That's it. I think that's also going to be it for this episode. Uh, next time on Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy 2, we're going to continue up to these new galaxies around World 2 and uh, see what this Hungry Luma has for us. We can see there's a ways to go, especially when we zoom out. <sighs> Still have a journey ahead of us. See you guys next time.